Let's talk today about how you can solve a proportion when one of your values is missing. I'm going to show you two different methods that you can use today to help you solve for a proportion. Remember that a proportion is two fractions that are equal to each other and they're set equal to each other, presented in this way. And in this one, you have a missing value and x is representing that missing value. In method one, you can cross multiply to solve that proportion. Remember that cross products in a proportion are equal? So what I can do is I can say, hey, 75 times x is equal to whatever 15 times 10 is, and I can write that as an equation and solve for x. Let's do that. Let's take 75 and write that it needs to be multiplied by x. Remember 75 is my coefficient, and I write that before my variable. These multiplied together are equal to these multiplied together. Okay, so I'm going to solve this equation. 15 times 10 is 150. This is a one-step equation. This is a multiplication statement right here of the 75 times x. Let's get rid of that multiplication by using the inverse and let's divide because remember what we want to do is to isolate our equation for x. All right, so 75 divided by 75 is 1x and I just leave that as x. 150 divided by 75 is 2. So I know that my value right here for x must be 2, and I can check it. 2 over 15, is that equivalent to 10 over 75? Check those cross products. 2 times 75 is 150, and 15 times 10 is also 150. So you can use cross multiplication to help you solve a proportion. What about method 2? Method 2 says you can use a scale factor. If you see a proportion and you're solving for an x value and you notice that there's a comparison of some constant between two of your numbers, for example, from numerator to numerator, I know that 18 times 2 gives me 36, so I can just multiply the denominator by that same scale factor times 2 and get that my x value should be 64. I hope both of these methods help you solve a proportion.